Okay, so before you can download the data from the CPC to the computer, you have to connect it to the computer. So this is the standard connection cord for the CPC. Um, on one end you have the Ethernet connection, and you plug that into the back. Once it clicks, you know you, you know it's connected. On the other end, you have a nine pin port, uh, which if this doesn't look familiar, it's because it's an older cable. And uh, most modern co computers do not have the connection necessary to plug this in. So what we have to do is we have to use a USB to nine pin adapter. So the USB end would go into the computer and the 9 pin connection you have to match up the uh, small side and the long side that would connect like such once it's connected um, you'll be able to download data from the CPC after one more step which is turning on the CPC I recommend to save battery power that you um, use the wall outlet connection and you plug that into the back and once that's plugged in turn on the power by pressing the power button you'll see the countdown beginning now um, fortunately when you download data you don't have to wait for the 10 minutes to finish you can download the data while it's doing the countdown so once that's done um, you can load up the software before you download your CBC data, it's a good idea to make a folder for organizational purposes. Create a new folder with your last name and the date. Inside that folder, you should create another folder name this one CPC data and the date. Once you've done that, go ahead and open Aerosol Instrument Manager. Go to File New, find your folder on the desktop, and find your CPC folder. Name your f file CPC Data and the date. Then hit open. All right, once inside, go to run received log data. Once the CPC data files have loaded up, scroll down and find your sample looking at the date and time that they started. Notice if you click on the time or data you won't be able to select the file. You must, you must select the file from the sample ID column. Once you selected it, hit receive and then hit close. Go to file, export. Select the CSV bubble and the comma bubble. Make sure timestamp is selected as well. Make sure to save your file by clicking the save as and once again navigating to the desktop, to your folder, and to your CPC data folder. Hit save. Hit OK. Now your file has been exported and you can close Aerosol Instrument Manager. Double check your CPC folder to make sure your files in there as well as the Aerosol Instrument files.
open your CSV file in Excel and make sure your data is displayed, including your timestamp and your particle concentration. Once that's done, hit don't save, and you're all done. Thank you.